Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Lalit Rao. I'm a film critic, a member of a press key, and I'm here at 19th International Film Festival of Kerala, 2014, where I'm part of a press key jury. I have with me a special guest, Nargis Abiyar from Iran, and I also have interpreter, Mr. Nimai. So, first of all, I would like to know, uh, from writing to cinema, what was the journey for Ms. Abiyar? <laughs> چه مسیری تیر شد؟ چه به صلاح من یک فیلم دیدم که حدود هشت سال پیش I watched a film around eight years ago. Which influenced me very much. And after that, I decided to experience uh, film making. And I uh, started uh, making my first short film. I didn't have any experience in the field of uh, film making. Uh, and that is why I make my film very instinctively. Instinctively, instinctively. Instinctively. Yes. <laughs> Uh, that is why this uh, this is why this fi uh, this film was uh, uh, very well received in different uh, festivals. And I was encouraged uh, to make more films and I uh, made uh, uh, and uh, I made some documentary films and so far I have made 10 uh, documentary and short films and uh, they have uh, they have been at uh, around 50 international festivals and they have received awards and two feature films okay so uh, let's move on to a second question uh, the theme of Iran Iraq war has been portrayed in many films, many Iranian films. Yeah. So when you made this film, what was going on in your, in your mind to make it different from other films? The team of lost soldiers uh, in uh, in the wars uh, is uh, very uh, is uh, commonly explored uh, all over the world. And I try to uh, explore a global team. And uh, uh, I, I try to make. Uh, I try to look at this film in uh, with a, a humanitarian perspective. In a humanitarian humanist perspective. perspective. Yes. Uh, but I 
به این جنگ نگاه کرد؟ Uh, actually, I looked at uh, looked at this film from a popular folk uh, uh, folk tale. Uh, no, uh, from a popular uh, angle. Mm-hmm. In this film, track 143, uh, uh, feminine perspective dominates. And all these uh, issues put together and plus the fact that uh, the, Plus the fact that I have made a film with a, a global or a universal team. Uh, and it is not a film only about Iran Iraq war. It is a film uh, about all wars. Yes. Uh, I agree that it's not about Iran in our Iraq war because the theme of Iran Iraq uh, stays at the background. Yeah, the the viewers understood that the film is addressing more serious issues other than the war, the uh, let's say the suffering of the mother. Yeah. Okay, uh, let's move on to the next question. Uh, basically, when we make such kind of films, we have to get our facts facts right. We should be uh, we should get the facts right. So basically, I want to know from uh, uh, Mrs. Abiyar, uh, what kind of research did she do about this topic? I made this film on the basis of my own novel. Okay. And when I wrote that novel, I uh, uh, made a very good effort to uh, uh, gather information about uh, this issue. Uh, and you should also remember that uh, I have uh, uh, spent my childhood during the war. Mm-hmm. And around me there were many women who had lost uh, their children mm-hmm. in the war. And all these helped me to uh, narrate the war in a very proper way. Okay. So uh, you are you have based this film on your own book, but uh, uh, when you shot the film, were there any changes from the original book? Uh, there was uh, there were many changes actually I uh, uh, I uh, removed or uh, yes I removed all uh, 
unnecessary characters, mm -hmm. all, uh, all the characters which were not main characters, and uh, only two main, two major characters remained. Okay, okay. Um, let's move on to uh, the, the status of uh, women filmmakers. Uh, Iran has always, uh, Iranian cinema has always been very lucky to have a lot of famous women filmmakers. Yeah. So my question to Madame Abiyar is that uh, still this distinction is made, women filmmaker or a man filmmaker or one is just uh, treated as a filmmaker? میگه به نظر شما آیا همچنان این چطور بگم خط فاصله وجود داره به عنوان فیلمساز زن و فیلمساز من و فیلمساز مرد یا اینکه اونها فقط به چشم فیلمساز دیده میشه به تازگی این مسائل داره حل میشه now it is recently these issues are solved are getting solved uh, some time ago, uh, uh, women uh, filmmakers were not seen very well. Uh, respected? Seen means uh, respected? They were not uh, considered to be... Uh, what do you mean by resp uh, respected? Uh, is it... Uh, not seen means what? Uh, it is... Uh, Women filmmakers were not not their uh, abilities were uh, yeah uh, were uh, ignored sort of yes underestimated were not believed uh, okay were not okay yeah. mm. but in recent years women filmmakers have proved their abilities yes. and uh, this atmosphere is getting. Okay, and uh, one final uh, question about the the perception of your film at IFK Kerala Festival. What do you think of the audience? Uh, you've been to uh, some screenings, so what is your uh, impression of the audience in Kerala? <laughs> The audience here in Kerala, uh, at least uh, 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 on that day when my film was screened, uh, their reaction was very good. They received very well. They were impressed by the film uh, and. They were impressed by the film and some of them cried. Mm -hmm. So overall you are happy with the response you got from the audience in Kerala? Yes, uh, we had the same reaction in Iran and uh, uh, here uh, the reactions happen again. So thank you very much. Yeah. I have one suggestion for the uh, for sure. the Kerala Festival. Yeah. And uh, Kerala IFFK is a very great festival. And people receive it very well. Everything is uh, 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 very well managed and handled. And it is uh, very unfortunate that uh, uh, the festival does not have uh, a award for the best film script. Yeah, the yeah. best film script ever. Uh, and also the best uh, actor and actress. <laughs> and if you include this uh, award, I think uh, uh, this festival will be improved. Definitely. 
sure. These are very good suggestions. Definitely, I'll convey them to the authorities. And uh, thank you very much to Mrs. Abhyar for the interview. Thank you.